Welcome back, everyone, to the island, the Fantasy Island, Double I Show, Fantasy Island. I'm Bombo here giving you your week six waiver wire rundown. I'm going to go over some names of some guys that are well under 50% roster ownership across most leagues that could possibly round out your roster or help you win your week. Now, a lot of waiver wire wonders come about from injuries. A lot of these guys are the next man up because the guy in front of them is injured. So pay attention, stay one step ahead of your league mates, and let's get those claims in. We're going to start off in Chicago, where they're having a sort of offensive resurgence right now. Chicago has been hot lately, and that's been off the arm of Justin Fields and the back of DJ Moore. But the running game is starting to take off. But you got Khalil Herbert going down, which makes Roshan John a must-add on the waiver wire. If he is out there, make sure you grab him. Keep in mind, he is in concussion protocol right now. So if you really want to take a deep flyer, you may also want to look at Deontay Foreman, who has been inactive for the Bears lately. But it may be the last man standing in that backfield. So Roshan Johnson maybe set a backup claim for Deontay Foreman if Roshan Johnson does not clear concussion protocol by a third party. Sticking with running backs, we're going to go Jeff Wilson Jr. for the Dolphins. Jeff Wilson was put on IR to begin the year. He's due to come off and just in time because we have another injury in that backfield. This time it is Devon A. Chain. Uh, still no word yet on exactly the severity of his injury. We do know that it is a knee more to come later on in the week when we cover all injuries. But right now, we know the Dolphins want to utilize their speed. You know, they want to utilize that ground game. Very well-rounded offense. Mostert is there. Mostert is upright. But Mostert does have a tendency to get hurt as well. Jeff Wilson Jr. would be the freshest man in that backfield coming off of IR if no one has him in their IR spot. Be the wiser owner. Pick up Jeff Wilson. Stash him in your IR spot. He's due to come off any minute now. Another running back to pick up taking advantage of an injury situation, Imari DeMarcado. I know you're probably asking, who's that? That's because he's the backup running back to James Conner in Arizona. James Conner went down with a knee injury this past Sunday. DeMarcado came in, gave you 10 carries, 45 yards, and one touchdown. They don't have anybody else in that backfield. James Conner was the engine that was making this offense go. Still think they're tanking, but they are competitive. They are Fielding a team out there, and if you have the opportunity to get a starting running back for any team off your way over wire, go ahead and get them. Uh, Demarcado widely available across all leagues uh, with under one percent current ownership. At the receiver position, Josh down for the Indianapolis Colts. Now you want to pay attention to what's going on with their quarterback situation as of right now that we are recording this. It is, looks like Anthony Richardson may be dealing with a serious injury that may require him to go on IR. That's okay. The Colts have the gunslinger. They do have old Gardner Minshew coming in, and he likes to throw the ball around. Uh, elevate Michael Pittman. Elevate Josh Downs. Uh, they're going to be getting a lot of targets. And as they try to get JT more involved in this offense now, I expect the Colts to be well-rounded and not be as bad as everyone thought they were going to be. Uh, pick up Josh Downs. He just re he just went for six catches for 97 yards. If you would have added a touchdown to that, he would have had a great day. Josh Downs available in over 89% of leagues. Another wide receiver to keep an eye on, taking advantage of an injury situation, J. Osborne from the Vikings. He's coming off of five catches for 49 yards. Key number, he's coming off of nine targets. Even a keyer number, the number one isn't in front of him right now. Justin Jefferson went down. More to come on that when we go over our injuries. But right now, it looks like the hamstring, uh, and they're not going to try to rush him back. It'll be the KJ Osborne and Jordan Addison show because the Vikings aren't as complicated of it as an offense as people like to think. They're not going to change up what they're doing because their star players down. They're simply just going to roll with what they have and who they got. We expect Hawkinson to get more targets. We expect more targets across the board in Minnesota. Uh, KJ Osborne. Probably not Ross in your league. Jordan Addison probably is. Go out there and get KJ Osborne. If he's getting nine targets a game, eventually that will hit, especially for a team that throws as much as the Minnesota Vikings. For a deep waiver wire and a potential stash, 
Tight end Michael Meyer for the Las Vegas Raiders. Hear me out. They moved up in the draft to get this guy in the second round. A highly talented rookie out of Notre Dame. He was supposed to be there to block, stretch the field, be a weapon in this Josh McDaniels offense. Up until week five, he has done nothing. What we just saw in the Monday night game was a concentrated effort to get him more involved in the offense. I'll tell you what. The Raiders have not looked good. Jimmy G hasn't looked good. And he's either been trying to over-target Devontae Adams. Uh, they've definitely phased out Hunter Renfro from this offense. And it looks like they might be trying to get Michael Meyer into the fold. If he gets into the fold, he has great hands. He runs routes. He can get open. He just needs Jimmy G in, to be on the same page as him. I know the tight end landscape is a barren wasteland outside of those few, but if you're going to roll the dice on a guy that's going to get you a five-point floor, go with Meyer just because I think the Raiders are now trying to experiment with a formula that could probably lead to wins. If not lead to wins, lead to more offense because right now they are not putting up points. They're coming off of a win against the Packers, so they may not be in full tank mode, but they are now trying to find out what's working for them. I think getting the tight end involved will end up working for them. Michael Meyer will be the beneficiary of that. So get in there early. If you have room on your bench, stash him. Don't start him just to see how it develops. Worst case scenario, you have a tight end that you can stream. Uh, maybe he blows up and you trade him. But I think this is the year of rookie tight ends, and he may be a late bloomer. So keep an eye on Michael Meyer. And like we do every week, we will be going over all key injuries that played out in week five that will impact your week six and beyond. So stay tuned when we go over that. Like we always say, like, subscribe, follow, email, hate. Just give us the attention. We love it. We want to hear from the Islanders. We're put, we are trying to put out the best fantasy football content for all of our listeners. On behalf of Sweet Tea, R.W. King, I'm Bombo.